This is so good. Sticky and Big T. Yeah, Jadex. <laughs> I mean, granted, we do mess with Big T every single tournament <laughs> about being like, oh, I forgot to put it today. I was going to put uh, Large Brisk or like Grande Brisk. All right, here we go. Going into game number one here. Um, we were talking about the Daisy and the Bowser. What's your view on how we talk? We see Big T a lot lately, but we haven't seen Sticky around here. What's your view on how Sticky's going to approach this matchup? I mean, Sticky, uh, big level up. Uh, he's another COVID, another post-COVID level yep. up for sure. Um, just neutral, so much better. Not really, uh, people associate Bowser with a little bit of mash. I don't see it yep. from, I don't see it from Sticky at all. He, uh, he picks the spots, plays really, really patient. I, I mean, right there, the parry as well, the dash cancel left till the second ago, like, and that time too, waiting for the down air, you wait for the full animation of down air, then act out of shield with that back air. I agree that Sticky has made massive improvements over this past year. But, uh, no sleep on Big T. Um, no. I mean, starting as a secondary, Daisy, mm -hmm. um, Looking like it's going to be taking over the week. But. Looking like it's going to be taking a whole trip out of the stage real quick. <laughs> Catching that back air. I mean, oh, speaking of which, getting the clap in the face, too. Nice uh, really good. You got you to gotta make sure you're using your ledge invincibility properly uh, when you're, like, uh, excuse me, your angel platform invincibility. Peach players love it. They drop off that platform more fair every time. Uh, right now, down or covering neutral getup, it's one of be the best options you get out of them. But 92%, even 107% the Bowser. All right, now we're all right, now we're slowly getting. I was gonna say not gonna die pretty soon, but now we're creeping into those percents. Well, keep an eye on Sticky's punish game. Uh, he he'll build it up quick. I mean, yeah. uh, up up beyond stage. Um, what, it's like a 50-50 mix-up. I'm surprised he didn't get back there. Yeah, honestly, like you saw, he kind of delayed trying to play around the turnip because he knew he was going to get hit if he jumped early. That's so he wanted to be under and come up underneath. But yeah, you're right, because playing a heavy, if your advantage state is bad, play another character. Uh, like, there's no reason to play him if you don't have the ability to keep people in juggle state. Because you could take 60, but you could also hit them twice and they're also at 60. This is why I like um, platforms for Bowser beyond just the uh, just the side B alone. Um, up B, that was a great read. Great roll read. I see that a lot from T. Um, a lot of conditioning. Mm -hmm. Sticky doesn't really sit at ledge. He kind of waits uh, just in that perfect space. Yeah. Because, you know, you got side B to cover ledge get up, hold shield, you can, you know, block uh, get up attack, stuff like that. But this is an even game now. Yeah, and something I'm seeing a lot out of uh, Sticky is that he keeps, he's, he, like, does one movement, waits in action, then goes, which is huge bait as a Bowser player. Like, really good bait and punish, uh, mostly jab or F tilt punish. But right now, you're right. Like, not only is it even, he's taking a percent lead and Bowser kills significantly earlier here. So if he gets an up smash out of shield or something, which would, or trying to go for a Bowser bomb as well. Break shield or get the killer, you never know. Either or for that. Yeah, without like Daisy, not the heaviest character in the game, dash cancel left tilt will launch him super uh, deep off stage. Uh, yeah, really good ledge trap coverage. Really? Oh, he's forced to up now. Yeah, Rolling Fortress makes it back. How do you get back here? Um, honestly, good good patience. Uh, on, and if you're gonna take any punish right there, you're lucky you didn't uh, die to that back here. But this ledge trap is really good so far. Rolling Fortress finally gets its marked up. <gasps> was, oh, I thought that was a short hop fair out of Sticky every day of the week. Daisy dies yeah. to any move there. That's with it. Rage. That's yeah. it. With Rage and all that. Oh, no. It's still just alive. Rage I thought that was going to be a kill. You got to watch out for this drop off fair, too, or like a short hop fair at ledge trying to cover it. Decided to go for Nair instead. Interesting. Side B catching everybody. That little pullback animation is such a such a mix up. I think we, like you always talk about the differences. Oh, the back air is going to do it that time. 100%. Whenever you talk about the differences between all of the Peach players, right? Like we have another one in here in Night 2 with KOM, who's now around here for school, mm -hmm. which is going to be great because this gives people a lot of practice in a very common matchup at Majors especially. Um, you got to look out for their tendencies. One of Big T's tendencies with Daisy, a lot of that side B. The Daisy Bomber, you're talking about it, we all see it. Uses it to kind of glide along the floor too to avoid a lot of punishes as well. Yes, absolutely. Um, where we got people like Ling, something, at least in my experience, is playing Ling. ton of down air. Yeah, um, kind of like staying that safe space above you, just enough above you, down air. It leads into like mm -hmm. every area. He's super chest. option coverage heavy. He will he, like if he's putting something out there. He usually has a turn up in hand. So not only is he keeping himself safe if you if he misses the down air, but he's baiting you to try and swing at him there. And then he just drops in with turn up into an on there, maybe a grab. And it's just an unpunishable situation because I mean it's a multi hit, a, mm -hmm. a multi hit down air that sets up in a combos, especially at low percent. Yeah, um, it's I feel like it's I I can't say it's set knock set knockback until like higher percents, but it definitely feels like it. Yeah, it's. <laughs> It definitely, it definitely does feel like that, the way that it combos into everything, even at 100+. plus. So we're seeing a switch over here to a smaller stage in the same platform layout. I like it for Bowser because you get to cover the same platform coverage while not having to run so far in on Daisy. You're always taking this damage even on a big stage, so it's worth it because you don't have to cover nearly as much. 
hits all the advantages of PS2 with the smaller blast zone. Yep. Which is obviously going to help Sticky. Yeah, every single time. Right now, the, like I like what Big T's doing again. Just staying at roll distance. Always has to turn up in hand. Very similar coverage. Oh my god, that was almost so good. And then the Daisy Bomber comes in. That is a first stock. That was so good by Big T. A little rough, um, rough DI on there. I don't think he expected that <laughs> Daisy Bomber at all. This is a good comp. Oof. Oh my god, straight to 79. Look, I was talking before, uh, like, look, as a heavy, you gotta hold hands sometimes. Right now, you're holding all these hands. Lord. Big T is saying, it's my birthday and I'm ready to party. It might be, bela <laughs> it might be belated, but, I mean, it's looking like this is happening right now. You I mean, like, look, you better start, yeah, exactly. Throw hands back. You need to start boxing. Wake up, Sticky Red. Right now, you're in a situation where things are, like, getting caught. Oh, that was almost oh. such a good read on Sticky's part. That force match would have covered that stock easy. You know, st Sticky it can't count anybody out ever, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, especially Bowser. I mean, like so, that back air, one more, one solid advantage state stock. Just get a few good hits, and this is still super scary. It sounds weird, but this is where Bowser wants to be in this situation. 120, you're just on the verge of rage. Mm -hmm. Get this stock, get into rage final stock, get a big combo, end the game. Yeah, end exactly. Up. And a lot of those combos for other characters usually stop working around this range, too. Exactly. Uh, so you have to be super careful. Granted, Daisy not really one that suffers from that often. No. But off air, won't do it. Super heavy boy. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. It'll kill a lot of characters, but definitely not Bowser. Don't, yeah, yeah, you gotta be, it, it, we were talking about before, the Daisy Bombers constantly, over and over, these side bees are so good. Look at the bait, look at the, I mean, I don't disagree with that, you state, you hold position. Why, why approach the Bowser right there and give him a potential get up attack for free? Those Daisy Bombers, good DI, but this is looking rough. Yeah, now we're at the window where at 196, you got to avoid getting hit by pretty much anything Definitely. straight. I'm so surprised that back air didn't hit. Oh, you know, my like God. It. You know, go for a show break, go for something crazy. You got to do it. Yeah, he almost had to read on it, too. Like, he, that, if that timed correctly, he would have that wins the trade. Reverse, dash, cancel, up tilt. Hold up. What do we do if this happens? What do we do if this happens? We pop off. Because <laughs> you're, right. you're insane if you make this comeback. This is basically a pressure game, and that pressure is now that done. Is it. That was a good set. It was. I agree. Definitely very well played by um by uh sticky in that in the later stocks. But right. it just becomes an issue when you have someone like Daisy who